Uh, good to get to win. Good to play in the championship tomorrow. Um, quick turnaround, play at noon. Um, you know, I thought Esmeri played very well coming out of what she did yesterday. Came and played very well. 19 points, 15 rebounds. You know, Kaiser did what Kaiser does. KK did what K and I thought KK did an excellent job on their point guard, uh, number 21. So she did a great job on her. Um, but then we got lazy on defense, and then we started taking bad shots, throwing the ball away and all that. We can't do that tomorrow. We're going to play hard for 40 minutes, take care of the ball for 40 minutes, and block out for 40 minutes. Uh, Baylor, you know, they just keep shooting until they score or you foul. Them. So we're guards, posts, everybody's going to step back and box out if we got a chance. Questions for Coach? We'll start with Kevin Kinder. Go ahead. Mike, it looked like you limited your pregame warmups. To, were you trying to steal a few extra minutes of rest? And what other strategies, tactics do you have to try to get as much as you rest as you can before tomorrow? Well, we just didn't want to be on the floor. I thought yesterday it seemed like we were on the, the floor an hour and a half before the game started. So we kind of cut back a little bit today. But, you know, we'll get them over, the, uh, feed them, get treatment and then get them in their rooms. Uh, like I said, the game's at noon tomorrow here, 1 o'clock your time. And uh, so they'll be getting up early here around 7. Sam Coniglio. Coach, you're obviously not done, but, you know, through all the the, the transfers, the injuries, the, the stoppages, how satisfying is it to get a shot at the title? Well, it's very satisfying. You know, you got to give all the credit to the players that are here. I mean, they're playing a lot of minutes, a lot of minutes, more than what they should be playing. But, you know, they're finding a way to win. So, you know what? I never worry about the players that aren't here. I always worry about the players that are here. And those are the players that we need to worry about. And, and, and those are the players that uh, we're playing in the championship with tomorrow. Greg Carey. Coach, you said last night, you thought and you knew, you said, I believe, that you guys would come out and play better today and execute at a higher level. Why did you feel that way? You know, I know you've, you've discussed at length how much you like this team and its dedication and heart, but why did you think that you would have more success, particularly on the offensive end, and you were able to get off to a quick start? Well, I just think my experience in tournaments is the first game, you just got to get over that first game. You got to find a way to win that first game. The second game, you kind of settle down a little bit and you execute a little bit more. And I, I thought we did that at times today. We executed a little bit more, hit some shots, and uh, was able to get the win. Carly Nevis. Coach, you also mentioned yesterday about the rebounding effort. You thought it would be better today. Out-rebound led by 10 with their Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year on the other side. Just how much was that a key to the win today? Well, it was, you know, it was big, uh, especially because Kari was in foul trouble. Esmeri really stepped up in the rebounding with 15, and then our guards got some re – everybody contributed to the rebounding. So, absolutely was big. Uh, you know, they went big at times. They put two – you know, they had 6'4", six, 6'4", four, six, four, uh, six foot one wing player. I mean, they went big at times, and we were able to still rebound. Ryan Pritt. Hey, Mike, a number that pops out off of this box score, they were two for 19 from three-point range, which which says your your guards were doing a pretty good job around the perimeter. Was that was that a focus, and were you pretty happy in that area, obviously? Yeah, absolutely. I thought KK did a tremendous job on, on their point guard. I mean, she's one – she is the leading three-point shooter uh, in the Big 12, percentage-wise, and she had a big night last night. I thought KK did a, a great job and, and paid a, attention to detail and – when she got picked, other people stepped up and helped her. So, you know, I thought, yeah, we paid close attention to her. Sam. Coach, obviously, Esmeri got the double-double. Kari made a lot of great plays on offense and defense. How how crucial was the inside game to uh, today's win? Well, it was big. It was big. We felt that we had, even though they were big, we, we had uh, we were a little bit quicker in the paint. We felt we were a little bit quicker. So we wanted to bring them out a little bit. But, you know, uh, Mac, I mean, I think she had, what, eight block shots? I mean, that that's our fault. We took it into her. Even our guards went over there and tried to shoot over her. You're not going to do it. You got to go around her. You got to go around her or jump stop and kick it. But, uh, 
you know, it don't surprise our guards are not scared. I mean, the, but you know, if you're going to do that on shot block, you got to go right in their chest. You can't fade away. You just got to go right up their chest. And, and we didn't do that. Back to Ryan. Hey Mike, last one for me. Um, you know, you, you hung around with Baylor twice early. You had the lead, I think, in both games in the first half. And it was, I think the first game was a run in the third, and the second game was a run in the fourth. Just how do you try to make sure you, you hang with them and you don't let them have that that big second half spurt this time around? Yeah, it's all about, you know, they leak out. I mean, their posts are so good. That they, they, the guards leak out. That's how they get all those breakaways and all that. Guards don't even block out for them. Uh, you know, when we, we were in a game with them, both games, uh, our, uh, Kari and, and Esmer was in the game. Both of those games, when they got in foul trouble and we had to go smaller is when they took advantage of us. But, uh, you know, we're just going to have to block out and just not to post. The guards, their guards rebound the heck out of it. So we got, they'll send four people to the, to the boards. So we're, we're going to have to block out. That's going to be the key to the game. We don't box out. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long day.